I went for a walk by Shanti Wintergate and Gregory at Needham. Chapter 1 Earth I went for a walk around the earth to see what I could find. The sun came up and the sun went down and the oceans wrapped around. I swam with mermaids, dolphins, and whales. I climbed with mountain goats, monkeys, and bears. I crossed the deserts with elephants and camels and roamed the prairies with lions and tigers. Just when I thought I'd gone far enough, I looked into the sky and began to float up. I sat on a star and watched from above. The earth that was so big seemed so very small. I wanted to look from further away, so I jumped over the moon and landed on Neptune. What a beautiful sight. I wonder what's beyond this universe. With all this space that goes on and on, there is no way we can be the only ones home. Think of all the people we could meet. Why, some might even be blue with bright yellow feet. No matter which color or hue, I'm, I'm sure most are like me and like you. Whoa! What was that rumble? It shook the whole place! <laughs> oh, it's my tummy. I'm hungry, I guess. Time to go home, but I'll be back soon. Next time, I'll go much further than Neptune. I flew home as quick as I could. I couldn't wait to fill my tummy with yummy, yummy food. I opened the fridge with one swift ball, but to my surprise, the fridge wasn't very full. No peanut butter, no bread, no carrots, no yogurt, no cheese, no milk, not even a soda. I rubbed my eyes to be sure of this sight, but there was no food, not one single bite. Wait a minute. What is this I see? Behind the baking soda and to the right? A mystery container full of surprises that just might be the leftovers from dinner last night. I took the container between my hands and carefully peeled back the lid to discover the old stinky mold. Yuck, I can't eat this. What good is a stinky old spinach lasagna dish? Just as the words came out of my mouth, I found myself spinning in a cloud of dust. There I was spinning round and round until under my feet there was no more ground. The dust had settled, and to my surprise, I just couldn't believe my eyes. Again, I saw stars, planets, and a bright sun of gold. I haven't left Earth. So this must be the mold. I was now the size of a tiny little atom. The view was more beautiful than I could imagine. Chapter 2 Move In the distance, I saw a planet called Move. I was still so hungry, and I needed some food. So up and away to Move, I flew. There I saw people like me and like you. But there was something different that they started to do. 
the mothers, the fathers, the uncles, the aunts, the children and grandparents all started to dance. Two by two, they shuffled and twirled. This must be how they get around in their little new world. No walking, no running, no cars, and no bikes. Just dancing about in a playful delight. Instead of running, some chose to Charleston. The pogo hop was a favorite for those who were jogging. Ballet was the choice for waiting and tap dancing worked perfect for parading. Then I asked someone who seemed to know, where can I get a tasty treat? He just tapped his feet and said, listen then you will hear music beats. Those are our tasty treats. So I stopped and listened to the sounds. Some were sharp and others were round. Some were soft and some were profound. All the sounds were so very nice, but they didn't fill my tummy the way that I like. I said goodbye to the people of Move in search of people that eat the same stuff I do. A little girl who held the ballet position number two said, Maybe the people of Izzy what you do. So up and away from Move, I flew. There were so many planets that I could choose. On my way, I saw stars and planets of all kinds. But the planet of Iz was what I had to find. Chapter 3, Iz. Far away, in the distance of space, I saw this planet shooting rainbows all over the place. It was a beautiful hue of purple and blue. This could be the planet called Is that I wanted to go to. I arrive safely, without any surprise, and find the planet of Is to be so very nice. No one seems to worry or stress about the future. Not one single person regrets the past. Everyone lives moment by moment. Moments come and go so fast. The people of Iz are so very pleasant because the people of Iz live in the present. People don't push and people don't shove. People aren't rushing for something to come. People just live in an is sort of state. The people of is, I can relate. The people of is don't live on food. They live on moments, which are abundantly good. When the people make mistakes, they call it a lesson that they won't retrace. I think I'd like to visit here again, but for now, I must see all that I can. So away from the beautiful land of Iz, I flew, still in search of some kind of food. I'm so very hungry and so very tired. I just want to go home and have a snooze. Out of second thought, I, I woke in my bed to the yummy smell of hash browns, toast, eggs. From the kitchen I heard, breakfast is ready. Was I still dreaming? Maybe. Maybe not. I know when I ate it, it sure hit the spot. I never looked at things quite the same way. Whether it was the sky or breakfast that day. You might never know what's beyond the horizon. You might never know what's right under your nose. Maybe it was a crazy dream. Maybe it wasn't. Always look always question, always listen to your heart, always believe in yourself. <laughs>